And that robust housing data are offering hope now for overall economic growth in the second quarter following that weak start to the year. As Steve Leisman first pointed out, there may be a big problem with the way the government has been calculating first quarter growth. And now more and more economists are agreeing. A big debate has erupted in the economic world over whether U.S. GDP is reported correctly. It's been sparked by a CNBC report in April showing first quarter growth has been persistently weaker than the other quarters over a span of three decades. The San Francisco Federal Reserve, which cites CNBC in its research, has taken a step further and says a correct seasonal adjustment of the data would put current first quarter growth at 1.8 percent, not the government's already reported 0.2 percent. The uncertainty over the first quarter numbers is prompting many economists to downplay the recent weakness and focus on other key economic data. The employment data, which do not seem to have this residual seasonality, to me are sending us the right message. In other words, the economy is a lot better than the GDP numbers suggest. Barclays also finds growth near 2% in the first quarter by using alternative seasonal adjustments. They say factors like fears over Europe or severe weather can explain some of the first quarter weakness, but they conclude that the first quarter shortfall, quote, is more systematic. Other economists blame residual seasonality for the weakness. Simply put, this means seasonal patterns that remain even after adjusting for seasonal patterns, which the government does when it reports GDP. In response to the CNBC story in April, the Bureau of Economic Analysis, which compiles the GDP report, said it's studying the issue and hopes to announce changes in July. If their seasonal adjustment process is inappropriate, which it seems to be, um, then we're reacting to data that's actually not really capturing the true underlying economy. Meanwhile, economists at the Federal Reserve Board of Governors found weakness in the first quarter, but no evidence of residual seasonality. However, they only went back 10 years. Now, it could be that the first quarter is really weak, but the mounting evidence is that the weakness is overstated at least somewhat by something that's wrong in the government's data. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.